The longer you stay out of your own timeline, the more you'll start sliding into parallel worlds. Hello sci-fi buffs and welcome back to your channel. Today we'll delve into the world of your favorite TV show. More precisely, we'll be exploring the iconic science fiction series Babylon while diving into everything we know so far about this groundbreaking show's upcoming animated movie. So when's the release date? Who is on board for Babylon 5? What about the plot? Keep watching to find out all these things. Just a fair warning, we'll also discuss some surprising plot details. This is Babylon 5. We are under attack. Babylon took the world by storm storm with its thrilling journey through space, politics, and diplomacy. Unlike most TV projects nowadays, this one actually features complex characters and deep storylines, which is why audiences crave more of the addictive story. And now the story will continue with the last installment titled The Road Home. The best thing about Babylon 5 is that some OG cast members will reunite this time, and will go through an emotional roller coaster while saying goodbye to all of them. After what seemed like a century, the groundbreaking hit project came to an end, with the sci-fi show's creator, J. Michael, confirming that he will return for the new animated movie, The Road Home. The movie will come out 25 years after the compelling sci-fi show went off the air, and yeah, a lot of fans all over the world are anxious to see what direction the film will go. The original show ran from 93 to 98, and it followed humans and aliens trying to live in peace and harmony while dealing with all sorts of things. For the the upcoming film, we do know it'll focus on Babylon 5 commanding officer John Sheridan as a mysterious force sends him through time. But who else is on board for the upcoming film? Keep watching to find out. Somebody better get Pierce on the link. Commander, the enemy ship is moving again. It's headed toward the planet. What, didn't they get the message? J. Michael described his new project as classic B5. Raucous, heartfelt, non-stop, a ton of fun through time and space, and a love letter to the fans. As the production stages, he reveals the film is finished and in the can, and it'll be released by Warner Bros. Animation and WB Home Entertainment in the summer of 2023. This is, however, not the only Babylon project that he's been working on. He also worked on a rebooted TV series for the US network The CW. Nevertheless, it looks like fans are more excited about the film rather than the series continuation. So who else is on board for Babylon 5? The future is all around us, waiting in moments of transition to be born in moments. Well, a lot of amazingly talented OG cast members. To be more precise, almost every character that survived the series will be back in the road home. Bruce Boxleitner will reprise the role of Sheridan, alongside Claudia Christian as his loyal assistant, Susan, Peter Jurassic as a Centauri ambassador, Bill as the diplomat Lenier, Tracy as Sheridan's successor, Elizabeth, and Patricia Tallman as Lita. Sadly, most of the OG cast members have died following the release of the last episode of the series. Richard Biggs, who played Dr. Stephen Franklin, passed in 2004. Andrews Catlius lost her life in 2006. Michael O'Hare, the show's lead actor from season 1, died in 2012. Jerry Doyle died in 2016. And Mir Furlan lost her life in 2021. The creators have already cast different actors for these characters. We'll see Rebecca as Dillian, Anthony as Michael, Andrew as Jakar, Phil as Dr. Franklin, and Paul will portray Sinclair. These actors will play the lead characters in the series. As for the supporting roles, we'll see Mara's computer voice and reporter, Pyok will voice Sheridan and Dylan's son David, Guy you will play the alien Zathra, steward of the Great Machine on Epsilon 3. Something tells me that their role will have a major influence on the plot of the film. Do you guys agree? Directed by Matt Peters, known for his work on Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, Babylon 5 sounds quite promising with its amazingly talented cast and even more talented behind the camera crew. Rick Morales serves as a supervising producer alongside Sam Register as the executive producer. What do you guys think about the cast of the film? Let us know! If you are enjoying this deep dive into the world of Babylon 5 so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss an update on your favorite TV projects and other exciting content coming your way. Also, make sure to keep the conversation going by dropping a comment or two. So what is the plot of Babylon 5? the road home. Wait, we lost the war? <gasps>
As mentioned before, J. Michael has been working on another Babylon 5 project as well as a CW Network reboot series, a project that has been put on hold for quite some time. My point is that The Road Home won't be connected to the series because the film will potentially follow its own timeline, and thus, we shouldn't expect to see some sort of a continuation of the series. The writer has already addressed this via his subscriber-only page, per report by IGN, that it's not a sidebar story or an unrelated sequel, nor a redo of anything that came before. Travel across the galaxy with John Sheridan as he unexpectedly finds himself transported through multiple timelines and alternate realities in a quest to find his way back home. The official logline for The Road Home says, as reported by The Hollywood Reporter, adding that the film reunites with some familiar faces while discovering cosmic new revelations about the history, purpose, and meaning of the universe. John Sheridan was the lead character in the original show, and he went through some really exciting storylines. He started as an Earth Alliance captain and eventually became the president of the Interstellar Alliance. As for mention, he faced a couple of wild storylines, including a death. Nevertheless, he was rescued so he could do what he was meant to do. This wasn't the only death he faced, as he also died two decades later. Sheridan was transported away to join the first ones in some distant corner of the universe. It looks like Babylon 5 will follow a simple time travel storyline while giving fans the last chapter of the story. Since this will serve as the conclusion to Babylon 5, fans have high expectations, and I strongly believe that our expectations will be met. As for mentioned, it's really heartbreaking that many of the original cast members tragically died over the years. They were all very talented, and it would have been great if they were able to join yet another Babylon project. But they also have returning characters, with Dylan, Jakar, Security Chief, as well as Dr. Franklin, original Babylon 5 Commander Jeffrey Sinclair, and the omnipresent Zathras, all voiced by new actors. I am totally in the mood to blow some stuff up. This was a bit worrying for some fans, who claim that replacing these actors might be wrong, but when you think about it, this is Babylon, so they could easily be very different versions of themselves. Those who have watched J. Michael's incredible Netflix series Sense8, co-directed by the Wachowskis, can easily imagine that the film is in good hands and the creators will do an incredible job welcoming these new actors in the Babylon universe while giving them already familiar roles. We don't know when in the B5 storyline the story of the animated film is set, but maybe the timeline won't matter after all. Do you guys have any theories regarding this? Do you think Babylon's story deserves to go beyond this animated film? Also, do you think Babylon is better than Star Wars and Star Trek? A lot of people think so because Babylon felt more realistic to them. That's all the info we have on Babylon 5 at the moment, but stay tuned to our channel for more exclusive updates, behind the scenes stories, and an in-depth analysis of this beloved series. As we eagerly wait further developments and a release date, let's keep the spirit of Babylon 5 alive. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like it and share it with your fellow sci-fi enthusiasts. Until next time, keep exploring the vast universe of your favorite shows. See you soon. No one listens to Zathras. You look like someone in need of a friend.